Hi everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today we're going to talk about water and why it's so important that we drink plenty of water. Because most adults and most kids do not drink enough water per day. They drink plenty of fruit juices and plenty of sodas, but they don't drink enough water. And a lot of people say, well, isn't there water in fruit juice and soda? Yeah, but you're also getting tons of sugar in those as well. And it's usually high fructose corn syrup, which the body does not recognize as a sugar, it recognizes it as a fat, and the body usually doesn't know what to do with it, so it says store it. So that's why you rapidly gain weight if you're drinking a steady diet of sodas and um, fruit juices. So what we need to do is we need to drink between eight and 10 glasses of water a day. Each one of those glasses need to represent at least eight ounces. Now the kind of water is important because you don't want to drink distilled water. Distilled water has all the minerals taken out, and I don't know if you're aware of this, but minerals come from rocks. Okay, and as the, as the mountain spring water goes over those rocks, it gathers up and it ga uh, gas, grasps excuse me, some of those minerals and it takes them down and then we drink those minerals, which are extremely important for us. Now, so you can drink mountain spring water. If you've got safe water in your tap, you can drink that. But if you have soft water, a uh, soft water system, what they will tell you is, um, I've asked about this, and that will, they will tell you is, oh, for every glass of water, it's only equal to enough salt as you would get in a, a slice of bread. Well, if you're eating, drinking between eight and 10 glasses of water a day, that sodium will really add up. So if you have a soft water system, I would highly suggest you need to get some kind of bottled water. It doesn't really matter what kind of bottled water or the brand that you get on bottled water. They've done all kinds of studies and it's pretty much all the same. But I would err on the um, side of caution and you know the bottled water is pretty much always safe. So let's talk a little bit about what happens if you don't get enough water. Well, you can uh, experience dehydration with just a very small percentage of a uh, drop of body water. You can experience dehydration, which will cause you not to be able to think. You'll be tired and everything else. Now, there's two ways that you can drink water. You can sip it, and that will help to hydrate you throughout the day. If you go in and you just guzzle water, what's going to happen is it cleanses your system. So you're going to have to go to the bathroom several times a day. Now, there was an interesting thing that I recently read on a... Um, a thread that I belong to on Facebook and it was parents that they were complaining that at their school that uh, their principal doesn't allow the kids to drink anything until they're ready for lunch. Well, that's very stupid because the way that you've, you um, hydrate your brain so that the brain can work and you don't have fuzzy thinking and you don't get tired is by sipping water. When I was teaching college, I told my students, guess what? I want you to bring a big water bottle. You're with me for three hours and I need you to sip that water throughout the lab Lecture, so that you won't get tired, so you won't get exhausted, so you won't fall asleep. They need to sip it so they are hydrated. Again, sipping hydrated. Guzzling it, you're cleansing. It also revs up the metabolism. In 37% of Americans that they drink between 8 and 10 uh, gla uh, glasses of water a day, they can rev up their metabolism by 3%. Now, 3%, you're thinking, well, that's hardly anything. Believe me, every little bit counts. So think about that. It also eliminates fatigue, okay? Um, for the lack of water, when people start getting dehydrated, that's the number one trigger of people getting tired. So if you're tired and you feel tired throughout the day, you need to ask yourself, okay, how many glasses of water have I been drinking today? And if you haven't drank enough, then go and get a big bottle of water and start drinking it. It also lessens hunger pains. Did you know that it's usually around midnight where people all of a sudden, if they're not in bed, they get this urge to want to eat something. So if you have drank a big bottle of water, you can totally counteract that, those feelings of hunger pains, and they will leave because what your body is basically saying, it just wants something in, it, in your stomach. Now, it can also, if you have joint pain or back pain, now sometimes back pain, sciatica is related to hormonal imbalances, it could be related to an injury and so forth, and some of that is if you're over the age of 50, um, half the hyaluronic acid that you had in your system is now gone, and that coats um, all of your joints and your brain and your skin and everything else. So, you can take a pill of hyaluronic acid or you can look at your water content. How much water am I getting? If you're not getting eight to 10 glasses a day and you are having joint and back pain, then you need to increase your water. It's that important. 
your body is, I don't know what the percentage, I think it's 80% water, and so it needs water. Now, water, if you're eating eight, drinking 8 to 10 glasses a day, it also helps with short-term memory. Sometimes people have difficulty, and they say, and they attribute it well to old age. Well, not really. The brain gets better as we age if we use it, and so it's probably related to that you're not getting enough water. Increase your water. Now, it also decreases certain kinds of cancer, colon cancer, bladder cancer, and even I read one study that it can decrease breast cancer by 79%. Now, that seems a little far-fetched, but nevertheless, make certain that you're drinking plenty of water in your system, 8 to 10, bo- eight to 10 glasses a day, 8 to 10 bottles a day of uh, water to help replenish and make you feel better. Now, uh, you can go on for more information on my blog, Good Parenting Brighter Children, and read more about um, how important it is to drink water. Let me leave you with this um, Slovakian proverb about water. Pure water is the world's first and foremost medicine. And based on what I just told you, that is certainly true. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.